do you have any any tips for anyone who's thinking of setting out to make a podcast off the top of your head what would your top tips be i think <laughs> just do it initially in the first instance i mean you know get something out there because i mean that is a brilliant thing with podcasting that it, it is a very democratic medium it is easy to get your stuff out there and, and you see a load of podcasts out there that have built themselves up to being very popular from incredibly simple baby steps you know from from something very small scale people always say like how do you get into it and I always say like, you know, well, do you write? And the person is like, no, 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 but I, you know, I really want to get into writing. And I'm like, well, you, you're never going to get into writing unless you write. You know, you've got to do that thing to start off. You've got to be the kind of person who just kind of desperately wants to do it, has to do it, and has this burning need to get things out there. The great thing about podcasting and about writing and podcasting is that they are things that you can do yourself. They're not dependent on other people. You know, you can't really act by yourself. You know, <laughs> like that's kind of the definition of madness. You know, like, but you can write by yourself and you can record by yourself and you can, you know, edit it by yourself and you can put it out there by yourself you know build it and they will come hopefully so that that's i guess my first tip obviously listen a lot to what else is out there and make sure you're not doing something that feels like what a lot of other people are doing or even you know what one other person is doing in a very high profile way you know don't try and deliberately ape you know i mean there's a lot of people like law is a very popular podcast you know law l-o-r-e yeah. you know telling the um creepy folk tales and that sort of thing there's a load of a podcast doing that you know there's so many other podcasts with somebody sitting in their room retelling a murder or a folk tale kind of thing and you know you kind of do feel after a while like how many of these does the world need so try if you can to do something original that you don't feel is out there you don't, you're not seeing hundreds of versions of and then from that you know I think just obviously do try and think about a way to monetize it. You know, is that about, you know, trying to go out there and speak to some potential sponsors, looking for a, a brand, you know. So again, you know, this is a sort of horrible, tawdry commercial side of making a podcast. But, you know, is, is your idea in any way something that a, a particular company might be interested in sponsoring? You know, if it's about, if it's a football podcast, is there like, you know, a sports channel or a sports website or whatever who might want to sponsor it? You know, there's a huge demand, I'm told, uh, for business podcasts and there are lots of people out there wanting to sponsor business podcasts there's loads of you know companies that want to get their name on a podcast that business people listen to so there are certainly some genres that are probably lend themselves better to finding sponsorship you know we've haunted with ghost stories it was kind of you know, are there any companies out there that require the undead you know <laughs> to, as their customer base but you know so, so being pragmatic being passionate being uh, pragmatic and then from just there, just building your audience, kind of being kind of somebody who gets yourself out there on social media and tries to make connections. I mean, we've haunted. We just, you know, we, we got out there and we just like contacted so many paranormal groups and also skeptic groups. We had these two potential kind of listener bases that kind of did overlap, you know, but skeptics and paranormal, paranormal fans who sort of seemed very separate, but did overlap. And did you contact them yeah, we, before, so we just got out there. during or after release? Oh, well, I mean, release. sort of after release, really, because we were so preoccupied with making it. And so we got out there and did a lot of it ourselves, you know, and we got on Twitter and we sort of contacted directly influencers within the sceptic world and the paranormal world. And I, I went on and did lots of interviews on loads of kind of popular paranormal podcasts and paranormal radio stations over in the States. And those things tangibly boosted our audience. You could see every time I went on one of those shows, a lot of people coming on board, a lot of new listeners, um, you know, like sometimes like thousands of new listeners, you know, would come in through having done a popular paranormal podcast you know and um I, I just think the podcasting world is such a kind of community such a joined up kind of thing that if you are getting on other people's podcasts to promote your own that's the best advertising you can have because people are listening to those podcasts have a relationship with those podcasts and connect with those podcasts and so they might like yours as well you know if the, the host of that show is endorsing your podcast but at the same time you know endorse other people's podcasts on your show as well i mean that's a, clearly a kind of very tried i'm not teaching people how to suck eggs here that's a very tried and tested route in podcast land you know this kind of reciprocal thing you know but you know i think that, that that's the way to kind of spread the word about your stuff you know getting on other people's shows and getting other people's shows on yours you know so i mean if you can get the host of a popular podcast to come on your show then that might bring more people to listen to you that's Danny Robbins, and this is the Podcast Producers Podcast with me, Neil Mossy. 
It's a place where podcast producers share their tips and experiences so that everyone can start a podcast and keep going. There's details of how to subscribe in the description. Thanks so much for getting to this point in the podcast. And thanks again to Danny. The links to him and his podcasts are in the description. And if you've got this far into the podcast, it's really good to have you here. Why not give me a thumbs up or a comment or tweet me? It'd be lovely to hear from you. And there's also details in the description for where you can find the next episode. Can you please help my daddy get 1,000 subscribers? Just click on his face. Thanks.